Hello friends, welcome to the Viva Voice of Anatomy. In today's video, we will discuss about a site determination of all the bone of the upper leg. To determine the site, you have to remember the three points. One point from the anterior posterior, second point is from the superior inferior and third point is from medial and lateral side of the bone. When you consider this three point together, you can able to identify the side of a particular bone. So let's start with the first bone of the upper limb that is a clavicle. Now the clavicle bone lies horizontally. So it is having one medial end, one lateral end and a shaft. The first thing, the lateral end is flattened from above downwards and medial end is quadrangular in the shape. It is expanded. So this should lies medially and this should lies lateral. If you consider this one is of the right side, so you should keep more like this. And if you consider this one of a left side, you should consider this like this. Okay. Now the second point from the anterior and the posterior. Sharp is divided into medial two third and lateral one third. So in medial two third, anterior surface is a convex. Convexity is facing anteriorly in medial two third, and in lateral one third, it is concave. So convex, so concave anteriorly. The shaft is convex, so concave anteriorly. Right. Last point from the superior and inferior. So on the inferior surface here, you can see in the lateral one third there is a conoid tubercle and trapezoid ridge that lies on the inferior surface of lateral one third. And in the middle part, inferior surface also presents the subclavian group. So this thing lies on the inferiorly. Okay. So keeping this three point together, the given bond is of a right side. Now the second bond is capula. So the first thing, the lateral or the glenoid angle is a large and it contains the glenoid cavity. So this glenoid cavity facing laterally outside. Second, the coastal surface is a concave facing anteriorly and a dorsal surface is a convex facing posterior and it is divided by a triangular plate of a bone into supraspinous fossa and infraspinous fossa. Now the last point, medial lateral, the lateral border out of the these three lateral border in the scapula, the lateral border is a thickest and it is extending from the glenoid angle, a glenoid cavity above to the inferior angle below. So the given bone is of a left side. The next bone is a humerus. So in the humerus, upper end contain the rounded head and the lower end is expanded from the side to side. The second thing, this rounded head is facing medially upwards and backward. In short, it is facing medially inwards. Third point, the laser tubercle is projecting anteriorly or a forward from the upper end and laterally it is limited by a bicipital group. By keeping this point together, the given bone is of a right side. Next bone is the radius. First thing, remember the radius is a bone of the lateral side of the forearm that you have to remember. This is the bone of the lateral side of the forearm. Now, its upper end contains the disc sick head and the lower end is slightly expanded with the styloid process. The second in the lower end, the anterior surface is smooth and present the thick prominent ridge and a posteriorly you can see over here it, it, it is marked by the four oblique group with a dorsal tubercle of a lister. So these things lie posteriorly in the lower end of the radius. And last thing, medial and the lateral. The radius is having the sharpest border, which is known as an intrusious border, is facing medially towards the ulna. And upper end of the medial border lies the radial tuberosity. 
So, the given bond is of a left side. Next bond is ulna. So, first remember the bond, the ulna bond is a bond of the medial side of the forearm. Now, the first thing, the upper end, it is a hook shape. Upper end is a hook shape. The second point, the concavity of the hook is facing anteriorly or a forward. So, you should keep this concavity anteriorly. And the third point, the surface border, which is a intrusious border, is facing laterally toward the radius. By keeping this point together, the given bond is of a left side. Now, the last one, articulated hand. So, in the articulated hand, the carpal bones is facing proximally and the phalanges is facing distally. Now, medial and lateral. The thumb is facing laterally. How you identify thumb? By presence of a two phalanges, one metacarpal bone. This is the thumb. The thumb is facing laterally. And the last one, anterior posterior or the palmar and the dorsal surface. So, overall, when you articulate the hand, the overall, the palmar surface is a concave and a dorsal surface is a convex. By that way, you can identify the palmar and the dorsal surface. Otherwise, you can also remember this hook of the hammock is facing toward the palmar surface. See, so this is the palmar surface. And so, by keeping this three point together, the given articulated hand is of a left side. So, this is all about uh, side determination of uh, bonds of the upper limb. If you like our video, you can share it with your friends and if you are new on our channel you can subscribe to our channel thank you